The Gemini Mansion is one of the most expensive homes in the U.S. and is in the exclusive domain of those living a billionaire lifestyle. Before we tell you about this luxury mansion, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Alright, let's get started. The Gemini Mansion actually has a long and storied history in the U.S. Built back in the 1940s for the Lambert family, who owned a major pharmaceutical company. It was eventually sold to Lowell Guinness, owner of the Guinness Brewery. It's hosted all sorts of people, from millionaires to billionaires to royalty. It underwent a major renovation a few years ago and is currently owned by the Ziff family, who owned a major publishing company worth $14.3 billion. The property itself is set on a barrier island in Manalapan, which is just off the south coast of South Beach. The Gemini Mansion is absolutely enormous. Between all the different structures, there's almost 85,000 square feet of interior space. The structures include the mansion, of course, but also much more. A guest house, for example, that has seven bedrooms, which is more than most houses have anyway. There are also two small, small being a relative term here, ocean cottages closer to the beachfront. There's also a manager's house and office for some of the more business-oriented things that may take place on the island. The actual mansion itself is just bursting with rooms and things to do. There's a breakfast room, poolside lounging areas, tons of balconies and porches to look out at the tropical wildlife, dining rooms, dens, an art hallway, chef's kitchens, and more. Just so, so many rooms, more than any one person could possibly count. The mansion itself is also incredibly beautiful, with gorgeous stone walls and wood highlights in the interior. If you're a big wine connoisseur, the wine cellar is absolutely massive, sporting three different and distinct sections. There's a his and hers master suite, and both suites have lovely views of the Atlantic. The gym has two separate workout rooms as well as two changing rooms. The many bathrooms, 34 to be precise, are all spacious, luxurious, and beautiful. But perhaps the most important aspect of the Gemini Mansion is its dedication to art. With fanciful vases, paintings, and more, the house itself is full of rich history and valuable treasures. Needless to say, there is a top-of-the-line security system protecting much of the artifacts and fine art located on the property, and many of the pieces are always on display. The Gemini Mansion Estate has just under 16 acres of land, all of which is both exceptionally scenic and exceptionally private. There's almost 1,200 feet of shoreline along the Atlantic Ocean and over 1,300 feet of waterfront along the intercoastal waterway. Much of the landscaping throughout the property is extremely varied, with over 1,500 different species of tropical plants and trees. Between classic palm trees to more exotic fig trees and smaller flowers like orchids, there's all sorts of greenery for you to look at and enjoy. Of course, plant life isn't all there to enjoy around the Gemini. There's also a lot of sports activities to do, and places to do them. A pool, tennis court, half basketball court, a playground, and even a treehouse. Not only is there a mini golf course, but there's even a regular golf course on the island. Perhaps the most fun and interesting aspect of the property, though, is the fully furnished underground tunnel that connects different parts of the compound to each other. There's even more, too. A series of fountains by the main pool, a nice playground, a pond, and of course, we can't forget about private beach access. There are pathways all around the property that take you through the tropical forest to different houses, and they're also great for just taking a stroll in the Florida sun. The Gemini Mansion is currently listed at a whopping $195 million. For a long time, it was considered to be the most expensive private property in the U.S., but that has since changed. Still though, in terms of expensive properties, it's certainly up there in terms of value. Not only do you get the giant mansion, but the whole island is included with the property, and the various guest homes and ocean cottages littered throughout. You're not just buying one mansion, you're buying several, and the island they're on. Since the island is nearly 16 acres, each square foot of the island costs over $250. If you only consider the 85,000 square foot interior space, each square foot is over $2,300. And that's just for the property. It doesn't begin to cover some of the upkeep costs and maintenance costs of owning such a massive piece of land. 
maid and butler salaries, an enormous electricity and water bill, costs for repairs, gardener salaries, and many, many more hidden costs that add up over time. Even the property tax, which in Florida is only 0.83%, comes out to $1.6 million a year. This question almost seems silly to ask, because hardly anybody can even think about affording a place like the Gemini Mansion. It really is reserved for the richest of the rich. The Ziff family, the current owners, are ranked by Forbes as America's 14th richest family. $200 million can buy an awful lot of other private islands and or mansions. What about the Gemini Mansion makes it so valuable? In the end, it comes down to the history. Sure, you could buy some fresh, modern mansion that's just as big for half the price of the Gemini Mansion. But you're not only buying the Gemini Mansion grounds, you're buying all the history that comes with the property. That's almost 100 years of business deals, famous folks, ballroom dances, lavish parties, and all the other things exorbitantly wealthy people spend their time doing. Many people like to own a piece of history. It just so happens that the Gemini Mansion has a very, very expensive piece of history. So, is it worth it? Honestly, probably not. At least, not in a very practical sense. If you're simply looking for a big mansion in Florida, the Gemini isn't for you. Then again, practicality is kind of thrown out the window anyway once you start creeping up into nine figures. Only those who are living the billionaire lifestyle can truly afford such a massive purchase. And if that's the case, the question changes from why to why not? Thanks for watching our video. Looking for more? Check out this playlist. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. What did you think of the famous Gemini Mansion? Would you buy it if you had the money, or would you rather live somewhere else? We'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below. We've also got two more videos about luxury mansions that you won't believe coming up. Feel free to check them out. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.